So the Mars Science Laboratory is really this fantastic mission. It's this mobile laboratory with 10 instruments doing all sorts of different things. There's, there's instruments measuring the mineralogy, there's instruments measuring the, the chemistry, there's a weather station, and there's RAD, which is measuring the radiation environment. These observations from the surface of Mars uh, help us in two ways. They, they give us an indication of what the radiation dose rate would be for humans on a future human mission to Mars. But they also tell us about the radiation environment that, that uh, microbial life has to endure or survive on the surface or in the subsurface, whether it be present life or past life in an ancient Mars. The radiation environment is completely different on Mars than it is on Earth. Um, we don't really have a, a problem with deep space radiation because we're protected by our atmosphere and by the magnetic field around the Earth called the magnetosphere. On Mars, there really isn't a, a very thick atmosphere and there's no magnetic field to speak of. So the surface is constantly bombarded with this deep space radiation. So we now have the third element of what's needed to piece together the round trip total dose rate for a future uh, hum human mission to Mars. We took measurements during cruise, uh, during Curiosity's voyage to Mars. We had collected seven months of data, so we can use those data for the, 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 the voyage to Mars as well as the return. And we now have measurements from the surface, so we can piece together what one would expect for uh, a future human mission to Mars at this particular time in the solar cycle under these particular circumstances with this level of solar activity. One of the things that the radiation measurements that we're taking on Curiosity are, are teaching us is that it's helping us guide our decisions for where to rove and where to go and where to take samples from. So we're learning that we want to sample these, these, these regions that are just along the edges of scarps or little cliff edges that have been w worn away by the wind over the course of time. We're really excited for the extended mission because we're right at the foot of Mount Sharp. We're winding our way. We have to cross these sand dunes to get to the promised land. That really truly does promise to be an exciting time and we're all looking forward to that. So stay tuned.